everybody. So I am starting a brand new painting, which is very exciting. And this is one I've been wanting to start for a long time, but you know how it is. Sometimes it just takes time to get to it all in divine timing. So I just wanted to go through a couple of things in this video on how I begin a niche technique painting. So um, what I have done is I have um, drawn out my basic image in pencil. And so I'm now going into um, using a, just a regular, just normal ballpoint pen. This is a Bic ballpoint pen standard, right? So what I'm doing is um, just going over everything, everything uh, in my pencil um, with the ballpoint pen. And the ballpoint pen, um, in a normal oil painting, depending on how thick you paint, may come through. In a niche technique painting, because you're using either egg tempera or casein or placa, it will not come through. You will not be able to see the ballpoint pen at the end of the image, despite how thinly everything is getting glazed. So go for it. You can use a ballpoint pen, no big deal. If you're feeling... Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, if you're feeling um, extra thingy about it, just uh, this is how I learned from my teacher, Bridget Marlin. She has done probably 100 paintings over her lifetime using this and has never had a problem. And I have probably done uh, at least, you know, somewhere, somewhere in like the 50 plus paintings with a ballpoint pen and have never had a problem. So uh, over years, it does not come through. It's not one of those things that kind of just shows up in your artwork. So I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so ballpoint pen, your image in. And uh, then we'll see you at the next step. So what I've done here is with my pencil, I've actually used a projector to get some of the lines in. And then when I go back in with the ballpoint pen, I'm looking at my reference and checking the lines with the projector. I never just want to assume that the lines from the projector are correct because, you know, of course, if you're projecting, um, there's always, you know, some amount of discernment that you're using when you're putting your lines in. So there's not a lot of detail when I'm doing a projected image. So I go back in with my ballpoint pen and I'm doing my drawing, I'm gonna use my reference very carefully and I'm gonna put back a lot of those details that I left out in the first place. So then once you've gotten everything inked in uh, with your ballpoint pen, the next thing is that you go over um, with basically a red oxide. I'm using acrylic here. There's no real reason to use oil paint at this stage. So just use an acrylic. It's super easy, dries a lot faster, and you can dive in with your white egg tempera or casein right after. So just make sure I got a really nice uh, even layer there. And then I am starting my um, white. So the white here I'm using is um, casein. And I am, you know, always, always, always looking at my reference image and making sure that uh, I am being as true to that image as I possibly can. So I am starting to create a variety of uh, tonal ranges here. So just with the white, making sure that I am already starting to build up those uh, highlights and uh, mid-tones in that range so that I am going, I'm setting myself up for success with those beautiful optical grays that are coming down the line when I start doing the yellow and the blue glaze. So you can really see that there's already quite a bit of tonal range here within those whites. So there's mid-tones, highlights, shadows, um, already uh, baked into this first layer and I'm going to keep doing that as much as I can as I continue. So tune in next time for a bit more of the piece. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you.